This uh, presentation is about the Ngāti Whakaui village of Ohinemuchi, which is located in Rotorua, Bay of Plenty, New Zealand. Ohinemuchi was named by the Arawa adventurer Ihenga. Sadly, he discovered his daughter had been killed on the northwestern shores of Rotorua. In her memory, he erected a large rock in the vicinity of St. Faith's Church and named it Ohinemuchi which means the girl, the girl whose life was cut short. Although the rock was destroyed during the road making of the 1880s, the name remains. In December 1864, a small expedition from Auckland led by Lieutenant Mead arrived at Ohinamutu and left this description. The whole village is built on a thin crust of rock and soil roofing over one cast boiler. Hot springs hiss and seeth in every direction, some spouting upwards and boiling with the greatest fury, others merely an agreeable warmth. From every crock and crevice spurt forth jets of stream, steam or hot air, and the open bay of the lake itself is studded far and near with boiling springs and bubbling steam jets. So thin is the crust on which these men have built their little town and lived for generations, what is in most places after merely thrusting a walking stick into the ground beneath our feet, steam instantly followed its withdrawal. Ohinamutu became a popular tourist spot and by the 1870s had shops, four hotels, a blacksmith, a police station, at a courthouse. European residents and traders occupied land at the discretion of Ngāti Whakaua. At that time, very little land had been alienated and the village was the most populated in the Rotorua district. The map below, which dates from the early 1880s, illustrates how the Uchihina Creek bounds Oinamutu to the north. The blocks have been surveyed in preparation for the founding of a future township. Some of the block names are gardens, such as Whakatō Ringaringa, which means planted by hand, and Harakekeroa, long flax. The now defunct pool, Kahukura, from whence the rugby club took its name is clearly visible, as are a number of the chiefs of the time who were claiming blocks in the native land court. Ohinamutu Fat sat at the feet of Pukiro Hill, which was a fortified pa. But there, were, there formerly stood a fortified pa adjacent to the lake called Muruika. Ron Stafford related the story of Te Ara Tukutuku, a woman of mystical powers affiliated to Ngāti Whakaue and Tuhaurangi. She visited Ohinamutu and unwittingly entered a restricted pool to bathe. She was roundly abused and in retribution, she demonstrated her supernatural powers by causing Muruika to slump into the lake. This map shows both the block names and claimants to those blocks, all Ngāti Pekoe chiefs, and an area set aside for a church. Muruika was subsequently become a soldier's urupau, or cemetery. Due to the instability of Muruika, the graves are raised tombs. The great majority of the soldiers interred uh, here fought in World War II as part of the 28th Māori Battalion. However, at least one of the soldiers uh, fought locally in what was called Gilbert Mayer's Tarawa Flying Squad of the 1870s. It was formed to capture Te Koti Rangi, the prophet guerrilla um, leader and fighter. In 1882, Reverend Ihaya Teahu of Ngāpui arrived in Ohenamutu from Makatu after having a long association with Reverend Thomas Chapman. He spent three years rebuilding the parish and the church. In April 1914, the new St. Faith Church was opened. It was the fruition of nearly a decade's worth of fundraising by Reverend uh, Frederick Bennett, his parishioners and cultural performers. It was, cited, it was cited perpendicular to the old church, Te Hahi or Te Whakapuna, the church of the faith that had been built by Ihaia Te Ahu in 1885. 
the old church continues to serve as the venue for Sunday school until blown over by the storm in 1936. The exterior of St. Face is Tudor style like many major buildings of Rotorua, but Bennett designed the interior along the lines of a whare for kairo, with room for carvings, tūrapa, tukutuku panels, tainiko, and hōwhaiwhai. The Papaioru complex is one of three marae in Ohinamutu, the others being Paratehuata and Tequido. It is considered the premier marae of Te Aroa. The meeting house Tamatakapu is named to honour the captain of the Arawa canoe, and is the third to have carried the name. The present meeting house was a centennial project for 1940, marking 100 years after the signing of the Treaty of Waitangi in 1840. The build was slightly delayed and Tamatakapu was opened in March 1943, along with Tawake Heimoa, a meeting house at Awaho. The street names of Ohinemutu represent important ancestors. For example, the northern entry to Ohinemutu is via Ari Ari Tarangi Street. A grandson of Tutanekai, the major uh, progenitor of Ngati Kakoe. At the end of this main thoroughfare, Ari Ari Tarangi Street connects to a street named after his son, Tunohopu. This street runs past Paratewata Marae, whose meeting house is also named in honour of Tunohopu. Finally, Tunohopu Street runs into a street named after one of his brothers, Hurunga Street, which ends at the entrance to Te Papaioru Marae.